Rebel Fam. Trust me when I tell you, I understand exactly where you're coming from. We saw the, the rise of hype. We saw the announcement. We saw the return of pretty dope shoe after a man, a more than 20 year hiatus, if I'm not mistaken. The only thing is, it's a little bit different. Materials are a little eh, but nonetheless, I still think it's a solid shoe, but for the price point we paid, maybe, maybe not. Regardless, Rebel Fam, before we get further into the review, let us go ahead and welcome our new subscribers. Family, welcome to the channel. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers, so it is a pleasure and a joy to have you join us. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. And of course, as always, make sure you share this channel with all your friends, family, anybody you know who loves the sneaker game. And to my return to subscribers, Rebel Fam, it is time to bring that energy. And let us go ahead and get into today's review of the Air Jordan Retro 14 Ginger. exactly what you're thinking. Would you spend the price that these are technically worth, technically, to have this shoe in your collection? That has been the ongoing debate in all of the sneaker world right now, man, for this here Air Jordan Retro 14. As some of us may know, family, making its return in a mid three quarter high form from its 1999 14 low predecessor. Color is solid. I think the color is somewhat on point for the 14 Ginger material. Um, they're a little, eh, you know, for a $210 USD price point, it's an okay shoe. Now, me personally, I actually like this shoe, but for some out there, it's just an okay sneaker. Now, the Gem Red, the Toro Bravo 14 that came out a little over a, a few months ago, if I'm not mistaken, um, it was a good shoe. And I think the red is what really attracted us to that sneaker. And I think the same thing for this one here. With regards to that beautiful yellow color, I believe that this is going to be one of those shoes that later down the line, it may be more appreciated but as for right now, it's kind of like, you know what? If you got it, great. If not, it's still sitting on most foot sites. It's still sitting on most boutique websites. It's actually still sitting in a lot of stores. That $210 USD price point plus tax and maybe even plus shipping, if you get these online, it can be a little steep for some, especially since the Jim Red Toro Bravo 14s that previously released were only $170. So a $40 increase for a nice shoe, it's a little hit or miss for most people. But nonetheless, Rebel Fam, let us go ahead and get into the review because of course at the end of the video I want your thoughts and opinion with the Jordan retro 14 ginger for those who may not know it was inspired by Jordan's Ferrari the design of it can't remember which Ferrari it was exactly but it was definitely inspired by one of Jordan's favorite cars and so with the look of the shoe you're getting a nice sleek design of course with this ginger color right here you are getting a nice yellow ginger nubuck upper it goes all the way around the shoe you definitely have that black and white back Jordan branding and 23 branding on the back right there and then you do have that that ventilation unit right there on the side of the shoe. You have an almost crystallized, I would say, coated painting, so to speak, right here on the wingtips, guys. And then, of course, you have a leather toe box, black jump man, and then, of course, you have black laces, yellow Jordan branding right here on the tongue, 14 branding right there on the back of the tongue, another Jordan logo right there on the inside of the shoe, and you also have Jordan branding right here on the laces as well. Not a bad shoe just that for 210 bucks some people may believe that that's just a pass for them some people did pass on them this was a really in-demand shoe at one point but now it's kind of like hey let it sit it's 210 bucks inflation is real it is what it is family on the bottom of the shoe you do have a nice black and white accented bottom with a yellow 14 logo right there and then you do have the Jumpman logo right there in the middle of the foot and a nice black and white aesthetic with the traction pad it's solid man it's solid it is double stitched all the way around to give it a little bit of durability but nonetheless it's a hit or miss type of sneaker. Some people love it, some people don't. And I actually do love the black, white, and yellow contrast of the shoe. I do wish, however, that the wing tips would have been black. Instead of just stopping it right here at black and then making that like a crystal white color, I think it would have been dope to see black and then black come up onto the toe box as well. I think that would have been a squeaky clean and super amazing look. Now, as far as, whoo, boy, I had a scuff on here and it just wiped off. Dang, 
God, I was about to get so angry. Here is the pair right here, Rebel Fam. There's really not much to say about this shoe outside of just, you know, the traditional nostalgia that was brought forth by the closeness that we wanted with the Ginger 14s. Y'all let me know, Rebel Fam. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Is this a shoe that you went for? Did you pass on it? Did you skip on it? I think it's a cool sneaker to have in the collection. So they will definitely be staying. Uh, well, yeah, these are definitely gonna be staying in the collection. I did want a couple of yellow sneakers. So of course I have my Goldenrod Dunks. I have these black and yellow 14s. I have my Pollen One. And then now, of course, I have my Lightning 4s as well. And I think maybe I may have a couple of other black and yellow shoes. Wanted a series of black and yellow sneakers with a little bit of variety when it comes to the aesthetic. So different fits, of course, guys, different aesthetics. You know how that goes. But well, if you don't know how that goes, then that's how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, Rebel Fam, as far as the box goes, so we did get another quote unquote special box, but it is a the Jordan 14 box that we're used to seeing. Only thing is, instead of it being the same color as the primary color, like the Gem Red Toro Bravo. 14s were a primarily red color. We are getting a black box right here with the yellow jump man instead of vice versa. It would have been dope to maybe have a yellow box with black jump man, but I mean, it's not really a deal breaker for me in my opinion. Tag right here, right there on the side family. So that is a size 12. Tag does read Air Jordan 14 retro light ginger, black and white. On the interior, you do get a black paper to wrap the shoe in. And then on the inside of that, there is a white paper that the shoe actually goes in. So the black paper wraps around everything the white paper wraps around the shoe and there you go y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions man on the air jordan retro 14 in its ginger colorway i think this sneaker is really clean i think it's really dope like i said to some people it's just eh, it's just okay but i really love the fact that i have an aesthetic like this in a black yellow and white color and i think in a couple years this is going to be one of those shoes that people are going to look back and be like you know maybe i could have maybe i could have done something with that shoe i don't think it'll be something where everybody's going to miss it where everybody's going to wish they had it but it's still a nice shoe regardless. Y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions. It is your guy, Matt the Rebel. It is the Air Jordan Retro 14 in its ginger colorway. Enjoy the on foot that is to proceed. Family, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. And I'll see you in the next one. And we out. Peace.